whisper of sub-intelligent life. Hi, man, Joe Armstrong, and welcome to the back office teardown lab. I found something in my box of tricks that I must have bought ages ago, and we've never tried it, to be honest with you. Uh, it uh, looks like a really cool MP3 module, and that will allow me to realize my dream of placing, I want to place in my garden these little MP3 things that play music, but quite quietly, like really quietly, but you only hear them when you get near. And it's not a, a new idea, other people do it, but it's it's in my mind because I remember when I was in the um, US a while back that I was walking around somewhere and they had these speakers in the flower beds and it was really cool. Um, so I think we could do it with this. It appears, if you see there, it has a USB and a micro SD card, assuming it's just looking for regular MP3 type files. You've got a previous... Uh, and V minus minus. So I don't know if that's volume, if you hold it for volume. Then you have PP mode, playback, something mode, repeat. And then it looks like you have not only a headphone jack, but you also have a speaker jack. So it may or may not have an amp. So I thought we'll just try that with a little speaker setup. You know, got USB power from a battery bank uh, just off camera. I've got a USB stick with basically an MP3 on it. And we've got a speaker, so let's just chop the wire, see if it works, because this sort of thing, if it fits into uh, like a nice small enclosure, you'll be able to use it for any sort of project really, and if you kind of wanted to, you could probably integrate this into something else, you know, so if you've got an old boombox or something and you want to give it MP3 capability, I'm sure you could use this. Again, it depends on that output, if it's line output or uh, a speaker output. We're going to try that, because if it is a speaker output, you might have to attenuate that down and it's going to affect your sound quality, but come on, frankly, a lot of the time we're not hi-fi buffs, are we, when we're messing with this stuff. So I'm going to unwaggle those. I mean, this could be a super simple quick build, really. This could be a five-minute video. Done. We're done. I should just maybe just play plinky plonky music over the top. You know, the ones I'm talking about. But I think we need to go into it a little bit more. By the way, there's a battery plus and a battery negative here. So if you wanted to solder in a battery snap or something, you can or wire it into an adapter. Oh, so straight in. I can see my power bank has illuminated. Oh, so there's some George Orwell 1984 going on. So I'm driving previous and next, but there's no other track on there. Or maybe there is. There was some tracks in the subfolder, so maybe it's gone into the subfolder. I think it has. Give me your opinion about those two guys over there. So we're going to hold down the volume, see if we can play with the volume control. So holding that's definitely gone quiet. Let's see how loud it can go. Getting louder. I would say, though, for argument's sake, that this only goes as loud as headphones. That's definitely probably more like a line-out. So that's kind of cool. I suppose in the right enclosure, this speaker would be good enough, but I'd really be looking to uh, add an amplifier if I wanted it any louder than that, really. Just looking for markings in case you wanted to buy one. Um, no idea. The thing that makes it important though is that when we power up it resumes where it left off so let's see what happens i'm going to keep my hands away from it as well so we can hear that i can hear that weird c kind of effect so yeah that's just resumed right i'm going to make the volume quiet Now I'd say that's just, just a whisper, just audible. We'll unplug it. Power it back on. Let's see what happens. If it retains the volume, then I think this is perfect. Job done. Sounds pretty quiet to me. 
I don't know. I think I think it is loud, actually. Damn. So if you're using a module like this and you want it to come on a preset volume level, I suggest you attenuate your speaker out. Put put a little pot in there and just attenuate that and be done with it. Just having a look through though, if there's anything interesting on here. The chip is a GPD. Help me read this. That guy there. It's a GPD two eight five six C. And I'm not sure what this guy is down here. It's probably just. It's not marked. Possibly some little amp. Maybe a little amp there, but you could fit a proper amp on here. I think they skimped a bit. But yeah, I think it's a nice little board. I've no doubt I paid probably just a few pounds for it from eBay from China. Again, if you want to just imbue MP3 playback to something, away you go. Previous necks could be useful, and I think the contacts are big enough on the surface mount that if you just wanted to solder wires off and put them in a case, you can. But I think the use case for this would be just like elevator music, music in the back of a shop, music in your garden. As ever, thanks for watching.